Hi guys, this is your inner chakras. Thank you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you for coming back to my channel, guys. This is going to be a true intentions reading for the karmic. Like, what are the karmic's true intention in regards to their connection with the divine masculine? So, I, I pull four cards, and the first card is going to be the karmic's true intention in regards to this connection. The second card is going to be the karmic's motive for wanting this connection. The third card is going to be the journey ahead in which they would have to travel. And the fourth card is going to be the potential outcome for this karmic and um, the divine masculine or the divine feminine, however you um, take this reading, because it is for the collective. So guys, let's see. What is the karmic's true intention? Karmic, please come through. What are your true intentions in regards to this connection um, with the divine masculine? Okay. Karmic, what is your motive for wanting this connection with the divine masculine? What is this journey here going to be like for you? For what is the potential outcome? Okay. All right. So this is what the karmic thinks of your masculine, or you can flip it and he thinks of the, you know, vice versa, whatever. <laughs> Let me pull it down so you can see. So the first card said, past, past life relationship. So their intention is because they've known each other before. So this, this sets the intention here. They've known each other before, so this is why the, she wants to get back in. Maybe she feels it's a really, really deep connection. It could be a past life as in spiritually past life or just years ago okay so that's the attention intention here but the motive for wanting this is this person needs to love themselves first uh, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so right now this karmic has low self-esteem and they don't love themselves and that's why they're holding on to this past life relationship here. Because they don't love themselves enough. So that's the motive for wanting this. Maybe this person makes them feel love. Maybe it makes them feel, it makes them love themselves. The journey ahead is, this karmic feels that they're, they're going to have to make an effort. And they feel that this great love is worth taking the steps that they're being guided to take. So this karmic feels that they're being guided to go back to their person in their past life. And that this great love is worth taking the risk. So this karmic is willing to do anything to get back with this masculine. And the outcome, the potential outcome could be... They feel that it could be soon. If they decide what they want so that it, it comes to them. So they need to make the effort and then clearly decide what they want. They feel that they may have choices with the masculine. And they may have a chance with the masculine if they clearly decide what they want. But they are going to make the effort. They, they need to love themselves. So this karmic here, they're not loving themselves. All right, guys, let's go in for a break down. <laughs> okay, hold up. All right. So this is a karmic's true intention. Okay, so they have a past life. <clears throat> Tell us more about this past life. 
What is the connection in this past life with you and the masculine? Five of Swords in reverse, guys. She said there was a lot of deceits and a lot of lying and a lot of unfair dealings. And it was just a bad start from the beginning. And she wants to fix all of that. She wants another chance to fix it for everything. Oh, my, my jacket is like choking me. She wants a chance to fix it. Clarify the Five of Wands and Five of Swords in reverse here. Three of Swords. So this is this is heartbreak and quarreling. There's a lot of fighting and a separation here. So that's the reason why they separated. So they were in union before, but it was a lot of fighting. It was too much going on there. A lot of fighting. Spirit, clarify the Spirit of Swords, please. I'm like, what were you all fighting about all the time? Eight of Swords. She was uh, living in fear. She was insecure, guys. She said it here. She needs to love herself first. So they fought all the time because she was insecure, you know, and um, feeling withdrawn or whatever, not being herself. Spirit, clarify love yourself first. Karmic, why weren't you loving yourself? Why don't you have self-respect, Karmic? She said three of wands, she she didn't love herself because what she had with the masculine ended. It ended, so she just didn't, she just stopped loving herself altogether. Spirit, clarify the three of wands. Okay, maybe this is make the effort. Because there's the effort. She's going to make the effort again, guys. Here she goes. She's going to use her little wand. <laughs> and she's going to try to convince that, that masculine to say, <clears throat> here we go again. Spirit, clarify the magician. Or karmic, you can clarify the magician. What are you going to do to get on the stake, Karmic? Knight of Coins. She says she's going to do whatever she needs to do because she wants a positive outcome with this masculine. She's going to do what it takes to get her masculine. She's going to clarify this uh, Knight of Coins. the knight of coins it has come to an end it says it again it says this has spirit says the knight of coins has come to an end right here she says she needs to make the effort right i'm gonna try to tell the story for you guys she says she needs to make the effort here and we said how are you going to make the effort she said i'm going to use my magic i'm going to twirl that little wand and we said for what she said for the masculine she's going to make it happen this is the knight of coins King of Pentacles, she's just going to make it happen. And then I asked Spirit to clarify that, and Spirit said, no. He said, this has come to an end. The world is an ending. So Spirit said, this has come to an end. All right. All right, Carmel, what is very soon? And we are to ask what is very soon? What do they have to look forward to a karmic? Clarify very soon. <laughs> she said very soon. She says she will be his queen again. She said very soon she will be the queen of pentacles. She wants to be his queen again. 
clarify this Queen of Pentacles spirit. Knight of Wands in reverse. He said no again. He said no again. He's telling this karmic again. He said you were just in and out. Like he was just in and out with her. It wasn't anything serious. It's like he's just in and out of her life. He didn't really want anything with her. Spirit. Clarify his night of wands and reverse. King of Pentacles. He didn't want to offer it to her. He didn't want to be her, her king. He didn't want to be her king. He didn't want to be her king. Spirit, clarify this Eight of Swords over here. Why is this karmic of fear? Why is she doing it? Why is she holding back? Wow. Because the masculine is leaving. King of Swords. He's cutting everything out. What is the outcome, um, Spirit, for this karmic's intention? What is the outcome, Spirit? Okay. Nine of Pentacles. She may lose money if she keeps forcing this issue. She needs to work on her money. Spirit said the masculine is going to move forward. He's going to offer his love to the Queen of Cups. He said the masculine has walked away from this connection. And he doesn't want to give to this past life connection anymore. That's it. And the bottom card is the reason why justice has been served. What's crazy is, guys, all these past few readings, these masculines have been walking away. And look, there's the Wheel of Fortune right on top of it. So this masculine's getting a new beginning. He's walking away from secrets. Wow, guys. Nine of Swords. He said no more. No more anxiety or nothing. This masculine has left the building again. So guys, this is the karmic's true intention as to why she wants to be with this masculine. She wants to be with them because they were in a relationship before they had past life relationship. But it just didn't work. And she was going to try to make the effort again. And we said, how? She said, well, that magic stuff. Spirit said no. Spirit said no, like twice in here. Justice has been served. Um, this is spirit right here. And um, Spirit said the Divine Masculine wants his Queen of Cups. He wants to offer his love to his Divine Feminine. He's getting another chance at love, but he's not offering it to this past life relationship, guys. Alright, guys. So, these are the karmic's intentions and regarding to why she's loving on that masculine and why she won't let go and why she wants him back because of their past life relationship. But for the masculine, it was just too much. It was too many lies, deceits, and all of that, so... He's walking away. And then spirit clarified. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.